are having a very magical day and again I am joined by the Lucy. That's me. And today we are doing the top 10 Disney World quick service restaurants because up until now we've not really eaten at any proper sit down restaurants in Disney World. No. We are the queens of the quick service. It's probably mostly for expense, like quickness because usually we're rushing around the park heading from ride to ride and we don't have time to have a proper sit down meal. Yeah. And just for easiness and I guess the choice of food, like we're quite into our fast food. Yes. Admittedly. So we go for the quick service options. So we're going to run through our top 10. It can be in the parks, in the hotels, in the water parks, whatever. But we're going to do our top 10 that we've eaten at. Okay. So we shall start. Awesome. So first one is the Pinocchio Village House, which is, as it says, Pinocchio themed. Got a view of it's a small world. It's in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> it sells nuggets, flatbreads and salads. So it's quite like we say like quite easy things um easy things to eat a bit of a quick lunch kind of service kind of thing but yeah it's nice especially if you like pinocchio yes obviously, it's obviously pinocchio themed and yeah the view from it's a small world if you sit on the left hand side i think it is of the restaurant when you first go into on the left and there's a big glass window and you can see them loading the it's small world boats wow. which is quite nice if you like it's a small world so number nine is the Electric Umbrella, which is situated in Future World at Epcot. And I particularly like this restaurant not because of the food, although the food is good. It's nothing special though compared to a couple of other quick service. It's because of the big neon like canopy umbrella things that light up at night and they look really nice in the dark. Mm. Maybe we have eaten there. But in the daytime. Yeah. And they sell, again, they sell burgers, flatbreads, salads, and all that kind of stuff. It's situated in Future World if you're stuck on Future World side of Epcot, like during lunchtime or tea time, then that's probably the best place to go for quick service because there's lots in World Showcase, but if you're at the other end of the park, you don't want to be walking the whole way over to World Showcase to grab something. So at number eight is Casey's Corner. Well, if I believe it's on the corner of Main Street. <laughs> and it sells drinks, coffees and things like that. Hot dogs, corn nuggets, nachos, french fries and cotton candy which is also good especially for parades <laughs> and it is also American baseball themed which is a bit different and you can take the food out if, if I remember rightly. Like I say if, if the parade's on then it's ideal. Number seven is the Contempo Cafe which is situated in the Contemporary Hotel and we are here once when we were passing through looking at hotels and we were heading back to Magic Kingdom. And this restaurant is situated right by the monorail station, so it's very, very handy. And they had an array of food, including burgers, salad, same sort of thing. It's always the same sort of thing, isn't it, in quick yeah. service? But this particular restaurant we liked because we got to use the electronic till system, like touch screen things, to order our food. And then you got a little um, timer that would bleep when your food was ready so you could go and sit down, which was good because there's no standing around and waiting. And yeah. we also, because we weren't th that hungry this day, we decided to get a kid's meal and we got a kid's cheeseburger. And then it decided that it came with chocolate milk and... Um, a cookie or chocolate pudding as well. And it was really cheap and no one, like said no you can't have the kids meal you're not kids no one cared no in disney you're allowed to do that if you're not hungry yeah. no one's ever stopped me and i've had a, quite a few <laughs> so yeah if, you, if you're looking around the hotels or you're passing through on the monorail then it might be an idea to stop there because it was quite good yeah, and there was, was lots of seating time. and i believe that the characters wander around the hotel as well so you might even bump into a character while you're there next you've got the abc commis commissary yeah <laughs> um which is in Hollywood Studios. Um, this, I believe, is based on the ABC. Um, it has got a channel. I yeah, we can't get it in England, so we're not really sure what's on there. But but it's probably we know what's kind of times on there. We know that yes, because there was once upon a time props in there when we went in once. Yes, and um, it sells really good food um, we've been in there a couple of times haven't we, we on our visits burger. yeah we always get the burger which <laughs> is really really nice um, and it sells stuff like salmon and other bits and bobs and it's got a big seating area so that's always good because you know how busy it can get around the parks mm -hmm. and things so I'm pretty sure it's one of the biggest restaurants it seems massive because you queue in the middle big. and you can go left or right and we always think we go left but I don't know why and oh I just remembered that I didn't write down 
They also have TVs in there showing like trailers for new shows and things. Oh yeah, 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 show, cooking yeah. shows and things as well. While you, well, so you never bored in there. No, it's um, it's quite entertaining, really. Yeah. Number five is Cosmic Rear's Starlight Cafe, situated in Tomorrowland within Magic Kingdom, and I particularly like this restaurant because of one animatronic guy named Sunny Eclipse, who is a lounge singer slash alien dude. Um, who will sit on a stage at the front and he plays his little, I think it's a keyboard, he plays his intergalactic instrument and <laughs> sings intergalactic themed songs like Space Angel and lots of things like that. And um, they sell an array of things again, but our favourite from here is the half roast chicken with mash and green beans. And they also do a nice little chocolate, it's like a chocolate cake with Mickey Mouse sprinkles on. I remember getting that and that was really nice. Very nice. And they also sell burgers and hot dogs and the usual stuff. Number four is Sunshine Seasons which is in Ep Epcot. So basically we go on the saw room first and then we nip around to this restaurant, get our breakfast which we absolutely love. So in this, in this, in this breakfast we have bacon, eggs, French toast, spiced potatoes, we get a biscuit which is Remember, it's like a little scone thing, so it's really, really good. Like if you're heading towards Soaring, and you just get a bit peckish or something coming out of it. Then, and not only breakfast, it serves a uh, lunch and dinner as well. So, it seems quite gourmet. Although it's a quick service restaurant, from what I read, we've never been at lunch or dinner. They do Asian food and like roasted chickens on a spit roast. So it sounds quite good. And they also have bakery items because that's where we sell that whoopie pie. Oh yeah, that would be fine. So we'll have to go back there for some cakes the next time. Yes. Number three is the Liberty Inn in the American Pavilion in Epcot and this is a colonial American themed restaurant. Now we love this restaurant for one reason and one reason only and that is the New York Strip Steak with french fries and broccoli and it is like one oh, of my all time lovely. favourite Disney World meals. I have to have it every time we go now since we discovered it. And the steak is just so juicy and tasty and I love having broccoli which might sound really weird because most people don't like broccoli but I do. <laughs> it feels like we're at home I it guess. Does, yeah, well. It does, yeah like, it does. Like, like it's, it's like a bit of England in America for us because a lot of the food like we miss from home. I know steak isn't from home but you know what I mean. So Lucy got um, a frozen Fanta in there as well I think last time. Oh yeah, nice. yeah, I think I did. And if you're lucky, you might see the American band because I think they wander in, or if not, they stay outside and there's like a colonial American band that plays as well. Very oh, musical. And if you're going at Christmas, there is one of the really large gingerbread houses. Do you remember seeing oh, that? Oh, I do. Yeah, and there's like the recipe, and there's the woman like coming in and out of the gingerbread house, and you can look at that. And it's take massive. Photos of that, and it is really cool. Number two. Let me get this right. <laughs> Restaurantosaurus. Yay! Well done. Right. So this is in. Uh, Animal Kingdom and this for me, well last time I was in here I believe I'd just been on Everest and had one of the worst experiences of my life. Mm -hmm. But it does like burgers and things and if I remember rightly this is like one of the only ones that has like a help yourself kind salad of bar. to salad bar on your burger so you can have it completely plain if you want to. Or you can have, like, you can put whatever you want on it. It seems like a paleontologist's area with different rooms featuring fossil. It actually has in the restaurant. It's quite a big restaurant. But then it has, like, a random camper van outside. And you can actually sit within the camper van and, and look out. And that was pretty cool. It's definitely the best place to sit. It has the comfiest seats. It has, like, padded, like, red leather seats. And it's, like, more, like, secluded, I guess. If you want to just, like, go and have a chit-chat with your mates, that's the place to sit. Yeah, it's really, really good. Unless it's thunder and lightning because we sat there when it was thunder and lightning and the metal camper van was shaking with oh, the thunder it was, and yeah. it was pretty scary. It was actually, yeah. yeah that's my favourite burger in the whole of Disney World. Yes, it's it from is. There. It's really, really good. And in the number one spot is Be Our Guest, which is the Beauty and the Beast themed restaurant in Magic Kingdom. And this is our favourite, and I know you're going to say it's table service, but at a lunchtime it is quick service, so this totally counts and it's situated in the Beast's Castle and we queued for like an hour to get in so it's really popular even at lunchtime. Yes. Really, we queued forever. Yeah. But once you get actually into the castle you will queue up and there'll be some like suits of armour either side and they actually do talk to each other if you listen. Yeah. And then you go and you order your food and 
the woman will take your details. Oh man, woman, man, better. Will take your details and they will give you an enchanted rose, which is literally a plastic rose. And then you go and choose whether to sit in the west wing, the main ballroom, or the other room with a music box and there's a Beauty and the Beast that sit on the top and spin around. All three rooms are really, really nice. We have sat in the jewelry box room and the main ballroom. The west wing's a little bit dark. That's yes, the only thing I'd was, say about yeah, that one. Yeah. However, you can go and sit anywhere you like and you just take the rose with you and you put it on your table and that somehow has some like GPS locator in it and they will know exactly where you're sitting and they will come over with the tray on wheels, big like French glass tray, and they open it and they say, three roast beef sandwiches and we say of course because we are starving we will have them thank you and then they put it on on your table and that is it that is as simple as that you've already paid so you just once you've done that you can you can eat and leave but our favorite is the roast beef sandwich and if you haven't had it you need to go and get it oh, it's like, really really ASAP nice because it is like one of the best meals ever in disney world and it's not even a table service it's like thick pieces of beef hot beef in a big baguette and you also get french fries with it and the chocolate cupcake is really nice and so that is our number one because it's just it's it doesn't even look like quick service the theme is so on point like it literally looks like it's from the movie especially if you sit in the ballroom you can just see the chandelier and the mural of the angels on the ceiling and it's just beautiful and if you do go at the dinner time for the proper table service you get to meet the beast <gasps> i really want to do that so those are our top 10 quick service restaurants in Disney World. If you want to tell us about any others that we may have not eaten at, please leave a comment below because we're always looking for new food to try in Disney World because who doesn't love food in Disney World? Yes, exactly. It's one of the main reasons we go, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but next year when we go, we are hoping to get the dining plan, the upgraded dining plan where you get a table service restaurant. So next year you may see a different list full of table service restaurants because... We'd love to try some of those. So have a good day, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye. And try the grey stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me. It's, it's the dishes. dishes. <laughs> what did you I was going to say, I was saying it, it's nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> it's nutritious. <laughs> Lucy's making up her own words.